And the question that I pose is, what is that great love like in the everyday? So my new book, The Summer Garden, continues the story of Tatiana and Alexander, but in this one, slightly different from the ones that came before, they're now faced with their post-war life. They have now gone through the loss of all the things one can lose in a war. They've gone through tremendous conflict. They've gone through separation, through death, through horrible suffering. And now they face each other in post-war America. I was born in the Soviet Union in Leningrad. And I came here as a young girl with my mother and father. I'm here sitting in front of you, talking to you as a testament that I did indeed have a different life, the life that my dad thought I could have, which is that I came here without English, speaking only Russian, learned another language, uh, went to an American school, made American friends, and then became a writer of books, of American books in English. That's just a quintessential American experience. This book itself has a little bit of everything. It has love, it has hate, it has great friendship and betrayal. It has war and it has peace. It has children and it has lack of children. It has abundance and it has abject poverty. It has happiness and it has the lowest depths of misery. I always tell my readers that I don't know anyone as well as I know Tatiana and Alexander. I don't know real people. I don't know my best friend as well as I know them. I don't think I know my husband as well as I know them. I know them intimately and personally and some of that clearly comes out. And in the summer garden, it comes out, I think, most of all.